Whiskey Shrimp and Okra. I peeled and deveined the shrimp. And we are, we have some garlic cloves in there to infuse our oil with garlic because I love garlic. It is healthy for you. It's good for your heart if you cook to prevent disease and high risk of disease then you would be fine now my seasonings are my seasonings garlic powder we got chili powder we got ground paprika we got salt and parsley flakes McCormick's pepper Okay, so we got the shrimp cooking. Now the shrimp don't take long to cook and neither does the okra. So we're going to go ahead and add some onions. I got frozen onions because I'm tired of cutting onions. Now I don't know about y'all, but I heard lately that they are injecting shrimp with fillers i wouldn't be surprised there's so much going on with the gmo the fda allowing for our fruits and vegetables to be sprayed so i do a vinegar soak on any wild meat seafood i soak it in vinegar i peel and devein those nasty ass shrimp and then i do a vinegar soak again now when I soak it in vinegar again, I rinse it off thoroughly a couple of times with cold water. I let it sit and soak in cold water. And then I season it. Now we're going to let this cook for a little while longer. Alright, so we're trying to let this juice cook off from the shrimp. I use maybe about three tablespoons of vegetable oil. Um, I use so much because I use it to saute the shrimp first, the vegetables, and then it's already in there for your okra. Now the okra don't take long to cook. It's frozen. So, I don't like these pieces. I eat them on pickle okra, but... And if it was fried okra, maybe, but I don't want those pieces sauteed in there. Now, when you buy frozen.